Once you have your video ready for Instagram, make sure your timeline panel is selected and use the Ctrl M keyboard shortcut to open up the export window. Then go to the video tab and scroll down until you see profile. Uncheck its checkbox. Then uncheck the checkbox for level. Change the level to 3.2. Up here, uncheck the checkbox next to width and height. Click the little link button so that it's crossed out. Change the width to 1280 and the height to 720. And I'm also going to uncheck the frame rate and change it to 24. Then scroll down and check the render at maximum depth setting so it doesn't compress your video too much. Now under bitrate settings, I'm going to change the encoding to VBR2 pass. Then change the target bitrate to 2.1. And change the maximum bitrate to 2.5. Alright, we're done changing settings, but you probably don't want to do this every time you're exporting to Instagram. So up here next to preset, click the save preset button. I'm just going to name it Instagram and hit OK. Now you can just select this preset whenever you have a new Instagram video you want to export. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.